first into the tank is a product designed to relieve stress and promote relaxation. Hi Sharks, my name is Kaylin Marcotte. I am from New York City and I am here seeking $500,000 in exchange for 5% of my company. Wow. Stress and mental exhaustion can wreak havoc on our minds, bodies, and relationships. Five years ago, I was working around the clock at an early startup and was looking for a new and healthy way to unwind and unplug. I tried meditation, yoga, even essential oils without much success. And then this tiny object changed everything, a jigsaw puzzle. Focusing on one simple task and building something piece by piece felt both relaxing and rewarding. I lost the urge to check my phone and truly cleared my head. Problem was all the puzzles on the market are outdated, uninspired, and well, kind of lame. <laughs> Sharks, let me introduce you to Jiggy modern puzzles with a mission. Each Jiggy features unique art by an emerging female artist from around the world. A percentage of every sale goes directly to that artist, empowering these up and coming creatives and giving them a platform to showcase their work. Each puzzle comes in a reusable glass jar and includes simple tools to preserve your work of art. When the final piece is in place, simply spread our puzzle glue over the pieces and transform it into a beautifully crafted art print. We are reinventing the humble jigsaw puzzle and reconnecting people with both mindfulness and art, one piece at a time. Now who's ready to get jiggy with us? <laughs> in front of you, you have some puzzles, each a different artwork. Oh, it's beautiful. That's cool. The pieces come in this reusable glass jar. We've seen people use them as a cookie jar, a flower vase. That's pretty. Behind it is a tube of puzzle glue. And then in front is a gold straight edge tool. It helps spread the glue. How long does it take? These pieces are tiny. <laughs> how, how many pieces are in a typical puzzle? Probably 500 to 1,000. Our kids and I, my wife and I, love doing puzzles, but you need to solve one puzzle for me. How did you get to this valuation? Because it really is uh, yeah. very intimidating. Yeah, so we just launched nine months ago. In the last nine months, we have done 1.6 million in what? sales. Good for this you. first wow. year, we're gonna do 2.25. We're profitable. Tell me, did you do that alone? Yes, I'm a one-woman show. Oh my gosh. You own 100%? Yeah, bootstrapped, no debt, no investors, Good for no you. equity Good for you. Your timing <laughs> was unique, lucky, and perfect because all of a sudden, you're in the COVID, everybody's at home, and you're getting right. this huge ramp. Right. What was your profit on that 1.6 million? We're netting 40%. So this year on a two and a quarter, we're gonna make 900. That's so unbelievable. Wow. Why do you need us? So. I'm doing this alone. I'm here for a partner. The incumbents in this space are following a retail kind of old school playbook. No one is digitally native. No one is competing in SEO and digital marketing. It's like a land grab right now. You're doing it all online? This first year is gonna be 60% D2C, 40% wholesale. We were approached earlier this year by an upscale national retailer, and we're gonna be in 215 stores. What does a puzzle sell for? So we retail these for $40 and $48. Cost you what to make them? 10. 10, and how much does the artist get? The artist makes on average three to $5,000 for our first run. What percentage of the buyers now are repeat? First, we surveyed our customers. We are expanding this category. Half of our customers had never bought a jigsaw puzzle before. Ever. 25% indicated eight to 10 on a scale of 10 that they would want even something monthly, like a 25%. subscription you're, membership. You're, you're suggesting there might be a subscription model to this? Yes. We would curate new monthly images. What we're seeing is people who do return are buying on average four puzzles. What happens when COVID is gone? These macro trends that inspired me to start this of self-care and analog, those have been around for a long time. We did a quarter million in our first four months pre-COVID, and then wow. we sold out. You are great at branding. Thank you. Kaylin, first of all, you're a supernova. Thank you. I'm trying to re remember if we've ever had somebody go from zero to your kind of numbers. This is a great business, but at the $10 million value that you're implying, I have to believe that your sales are gonna be tens of millions for me to recoup my investment. I don't see it continuing 
At that trajectory, I think people will move on to other things. I'm out. Kaylin, you're incredibly impressive. One of the most impressive people I've seen in a very long time. Thank you. I do think that you're benefiting from the COVID uh, push and the valuation is not the right valuation, but I also don't think you need a shark. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you, I appreciate and that. best wishes. You know, I'm, I'm struggling with how much of this is sustainable post COVID. I would give you an offer, but I'd have to mitigate my risk, and I'd, I'd do it this way. <laughs> I would give you $100,000 for 15% equity and a loan for $400,000 at 10% for 36 months. <laughs> and well, I don't you. care you putting up a check. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are a shark. What I don't know is tomorrow morning, vaccine, people get on with their lives and they're saying, what was that puzzle? I mean, that's the problem. You no, know, as crazy as Mr. Wonderful is, he's right in one respect. The problem is the, just the valuation. You've got to make $10 million in cash flow that you distribute in order for your, that 5% of that to come back as $500,000 to me. Look, there are a lot of great branders. There's a lot of great marketers. What there aren't are a lot of people who are great marketers or branders who also know how to monetize. That's what makes you a great entrepreneur. You know, it's just not a great investment. I mean, I would do anything to be in business with you going forward. But only getting 5% for every 10 million in cash flow is not enough for, for me to get excited. I think you'd be an amazing partner. Is there a percentage that you would feel like you had skin in the game and could be a partner for me in this? Two sharks are out. Kaylin has an offer on the table from Kevin, and Mark seems interested, but he is struggling with the small 5% stake she is offering for her puzzle company, Jiggy. Is there a percentage that you would feel like you had skin in the game and could be a partner for me in this? I mean, it'd have to be 15%. Would you scale an investment with that at 1.5 million for 15%? No, because it's still the same math, right? It's linear at that point. What would you counter for 10%? I, it'd have to be the 15%, because remember- 15% you, is a good yeah, deal. Yeah, because you that's the difference between when you get to 10 million of profit, making 500,000 and returning- Totally, me totally. Yeah, but you I know think, the math. Uh, but we have a clear line I of sight. I thought you were going to say 25%. <laughs> I'm serious. We just, I haven't even told you about what we're going to do next year. We're going to do 5 million and net two of that. The unit economics work. I want growth capital and to accelerate it, but the business is working and we're self-funding. You just need capital is what I just heard you no, say. No, Kaylin, you do not need capital. This is a Jump very start. rare situation. Growth capital, This is a very rare situation. Take his half a million dollars for 15% to you as secondary shares. Doesn't go into the business. It goes into your pocket. Why is this a good idea? Because you're gonna walk more confident, because you're gonna take more risks, because you're gonna have that little nest egg. The business doesn't need the cash, and you have a Mark Cuban that's gonna help you. Are you saying that Mark is gonna give the money to her? He writes a $500,000 check, and he goes into her pocket. Mark, because what her do you business say? is so it's great having Daniel negotiate for you, Mark. <laughs> so, I've so never Caleb, seen what that do you before. Think? But look, he's right. $500,000 in your pocket living in New York when you've been stressing this whole time is not a bad thing. But then on the flip side, how much of an accelerant would it be to the business? Because if you can get enough of a multiple on that, then it could be worth 10 million, 20 million, yes. 30 million yes. in your pocket. That's yes. a decision, but you own 100% of it. Yes, I do. If we could bring the investment up to get to that 15%. It's not, it's not that you need more capital. It's something that you feel you want because you set a threshold, right? Um, you know, 15 is more than I was hoping to go to today, and... That's why they call it Shark Tank. I know, I, know. I watched the show, I knew that. Um, I have an ask on top of the offer. As you know, we're a mission-driven company dedicated to supporting artists. Will you match our fundraising efforts this year if I meet at your 15%? And what do you anticipate raising? We've done 20 so far, I wanna go over 50. So just match the 50,000? Okay, easy. Okay. Got a deal? <laughs> you have a deal. Done. <laughs> Great job, Kelly. Thank you all. I can't wait. Good job. I can't wait. Thank Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. Congratulations. I didn't get to give you my offer. I know, Lori, I'm sorry. All good.
Empowering female artists is such a part of our mission. And now with Mark on our team and this wind at our backs, we can scale that impact across the world. The only risk you've got is does it roll over after COVID? No, I, I, invested, in, I invested in her. Yeah, oh, she was phenomenal. This business may roll over. This business. Fine. Like we pivot and, and go to something else.